Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I think uh, February 2nd. And uh, today we're doing some lights on the Jeep. Yep, we're going to do those A-pillar lights right there. They've been up there for about a year and a half, two years now. So I'm finally getting around hooking them up and something new on the front of the Jeep. Just something to shine a little light. 7 inch all of its uh, night light uh, really enjoy I haven't had any problems out of the product I have at work and so I decided to get them here I've got uh, two 7 inch round ones to hook up I've got the four A pillar lights those are floods and these are spots some of the reviews I've read on the spots are they're really like a high intense flood so you know we'll go from there we just need some light in front of us uh, as you all know, the stock headlights on a Jeep aren't worth anything. Um, they're better, we were better off with candles, I guess. So, but until I upgrade them, we're gonna, we're gonna have these, we'll, you know, and uh, later on we'll upgrade the uh, headlights. But uh, let's get started with this stuff, man. I'm excited to get it all on there. First off, after, after we mounted the lights, um, inside the, uh, push bar, bull guard, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's these rubber grommets underneath where the lights go. So you can pass your lights through the bar and not have to worry about exposed lights. Or exposed wires, I'm sorry. Um, what I done was the first one I took and I drilled, drilled out the center of it. It's so I can put my wires through this to keep from keep them keep them from chafing and now I'm getting ready to do the second one just wanted you guys to see that you could very easily put a hole through it what I did on the back on the front side was I used my knife it's a little a little shady but uh, it'll work once it, I shoved it on the wire and it seals up really good just to you know one keep water out of there and two uh, uh, keep the wires from chafing as when they go through the hole so so uh next step is i've I've got my little grommet drilled and got it on there so i can put it in the hole uh behind the bar here next step is going to be to solder my wires together um i i won't solder up that's in he when it goes in here so i don't have to worry about it you know a loose connection or anything like that so uh, let's get started with that. You make sure that you got, I got my little grommet on and I got my shrink wrap tubing on. So let's go from there. Okay, both joints are now soldered. So the next step would be putting the shrink wrap tubing and um, moving on to the next light. Now that both of the lights are soldered and taped, shrink wrapped and taped, uh, I got the little grommets on. So now the fun begins. I'm gonna actually have to take the bumper off because the hole at the very base right here is about a quarter inch hole. And it's gonna be hard to try to feed the wires that we've already tried it until uh, there's nothing left. No energy left to do that. So I'm, I'm not gonna lay on my back and try to fish it through the hole. I'm actually gonna take the bumper off. It's eight bolts and two wires and it's sitting I can set it up and uh, we won't have to be laying on the ground to do it. So, uh, wish us luck, but that's their next step is we're going to take the bumper off. Okay. What we done was a couple minutes and just took the eight bolts off the bumper. It was so much easier to do it this way. So you guys see so nice and clean right there. Yep. I don't think we have to worry about them too much. Getting a little oxidation and rust on the bumper. Um, gonna do a clean and some uh, do an oiling of it um, I have some petroleum based oil and oil it down and that'll help it's the help the paint keep it from rusting if that don't work then we'll take everything off and do a uh, a paint job on I just probably just tape up the lights and then I wouldn't just unbolt them and and tape them up keep them getting paint on but uh, no it's still looking good Got the wires coming out here, fixing to, I was gonna butt connect these, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and solder them. Um, 
right here so that that i think that'll be good all right on to the next get some soldering okay, done okay we got it back up on there i got to put the nuts and bolts on it and uh and then run the wire up to the pod system and we should have lights after that so on to the next guys all right now we got the recorder going again it's having a bear of a time doing it okay uh what we done is we we got the uh we got the lights run through the bar the wiring should i say runs through over and up i'm i'm short on some loom guys so don't fault me for that i gotta get some more loom uh runs up round and into the pod system i still got all my other lights to loom i haven't got them you know perfectly run yet i, I got them left hanging so that uh when I do get the loom, it'll be easy to put on and then I'll be able to cover everything up. All the, everything will be covered. But we got the final product here. Let me spin it around. That's what we got. We're gonna do a video tonight. Uh, we're gonna go out and on the north side when it gets dark out in the woods and, and, and run around and see what we can do and uh, test out these lights on some of the back roads so we you know we don't want to bother nobody when we're while we're driving or anything like that so but uh, that's it for today guys remember if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and comment below we'd like to hear from you guys so remember be safe in your shops be safe out there on the road and peace out